Uh, yeah, All right. A friend of mine just asked me a question about performance um, and how a, a organisation functioning on network socialising as opposed to group socialising will achieve performance. Um, not necessarily to the school, but he's sort of asking me questions about how it applies to the uh, corporate world. Anyway, here's the answer. <laughs> um, this is the network of people doing network socialising. Uh, now I coach a rugby team, so just to put it in context, we'll assume this is a rugby team. Um, and now obviously each of my players has a role to play, so we can have a, a prop, you know, and a back and a fly half and all the different various positions of a rugby team. Now because they're all into network, because they're a network team, each person has a desire and a passion to spread goodwill to the others because they're network socialising, as I've explained in the other videos. Right, so they want to spread goodwill. So, for example, this is my fullback, and the uh, fullback is a very fast runner, but he can't sidestep. So, because he wants to spread goodwill, he decides to learn how to develop a sidestep. So now he can sidestep. So that means we now have a fullback who has a choice of when he gets the ball to run straight or sidestep. He offers that choice. He's made that choice available to the team. Now what that means is, is the other players, so the wingers, other backs, who are the fast guys, now have a choice. So he's spread a choice to them, because they have a choice to follow him and, and, and make their choice of how to best utilise his sidestep. Okay? So that then has an impact on the, on the forwards, and so that this type of one person increases their ability, generates a choice, and that choice spreads across the whole team. So if you can imagine the rugby team, each, each player desperately trying to increase their abilities for their position, that generates more choices and then choices happen. So in more of a sort of corporate world, these people have job roles and they'll be making choices to improve their performance in their job and then that spreads across. Yep, so performance basically happens by each person making choices to improve themselves which has an impact on their colleagues and the collective impact on everyone making choices, spreading goodwill to each other creates the very high collective performance of the team. Okay, now this is obviously quite different. We're in group socialising mode. So this is the group and these are the people that aren't in the group. And in the group tends to have a leader who makes the decisions of direction, the strategies, the five-year strategies, and says we're going this way, and the rest of the team work out how to deliver the strategy. Um, that's the group way of, perform of achieving high performance, whereas the network one is each individual person connects, and because of the connection, they share choices, and the collective improves the performance on itself. Okay? So they're quite dramatically different ways of achieving performance. Okay, and hopefully that makes sense. Um, and when I used to work, um, I have implemented this one in quite a few organisations, and the level of performance has like gone up dramatically. Um, but that's not to say that this doesn't also uh, create high performance. Um, all I know is that when I put that one in, it's had a dramatic impact in performance. Okay, thanks a lot. Um, that's it for now. Bye-bye.